conditional statements are used if we have a situation where we want to decide if something is true then we will execute one piece of code if something else is true then we will execute another piece of code the most famous conditional statement in any programming language is the if statement and it goes like this so in our start function which is going to be called first when we run our game because we did not type out our awake function i'm going to type if and it goes like this if open close parentheses open close curly brackets what we put between these parentheses here needs to evaluate to be true which is our boolean variable i said we are going to use for example we are going to check if speed is greater than two or if speed is less than two that will return true or false so we can simply type here true and it will execute the code that is here so here i can type debug.log and here i can type the code is executed this is just to prove my point that what we put here needs to be true and this code will execute if i go back here in my unity editor i'm going to clear the console i still have the game object with the script attached on it i'm going to run the game and we're going to see the code is executed because our statement or this right here is true if i put here false instead of true and i go back now and i'm going to clear the console and i'm going to run the game and we see that nothing is printed in the console that means that what we put here needs to evaluate to be true so we can test if 2 is greater than 3 print for example these are called comparison operators so we can compare 2 and 3 and we can test if 2 is greater than 3 which is not true of course we can test if 2 is less than 3 that is true we can test if 2 is equal to 3 now in order to test if something is equal to for example if 2 is equal to 3 and of, co of course excuse me in our code we are not going to test stuff like this if 2 is equal to 3 we are probably going to have for example the speed of the player so if the speed is equal to the max speed something like that then we are going to execute what's in the if statement this is just an example so that we can demonstrate how this actually works going back to our equals if we want to test if something is equal to in an if statement we don't use only one equal sign we need double equal sign because one single equal sign will assign what's on the right side it will assign that value to the left side and that's why we need to use the double equal sign this means if two is equal to three then execute the code that is put here or that we put here we can also test if two is less than or equal to three or if it's greater than or equal to three this will be true if two or what's on the left side is greater than or equal to the number that's on the right side the same way goes if the number on the left side is less than or equal to three then this will be true so this statement at the moment will be true and if i go back because two is in fact less than three if i run the game the code is executed but if i go back and type if two is greater than or equal to three this is not true because two is not greater than and it's not equal to three and let me just clear the console and run the code or run the game and we see that nothing is printed here in the console if we want to test right like this excuse me so if two is greater than or equal to three we want to do something here but what if this is not true for example i'm going to create here int speed is equal to two and int max speed is equal to three and here i'm going to test if our speed is greater than or equal to our max speed which at the moment is not true because speed is two and max speed is three so what if the speed is not greater than or equal to max speed what we want to do well we can type here else like this and this is called an if else statement meaning if this right here is true so if the speed is greater than 
or equal to the max speed, then execute the code that is here. Else, if that is not true, then execute the code that is here. And I'm going to use debug.log, and here I'm going to type the speed is greater than max speed, like this. And here I'm going to type out the speed is not greater, so the speed is not greater than max speed, like this. And if I go back and run the game, we are going to see the speed is not greater than max speed. And this is an else statement, meaning that if this first one does not work, then this one right here will work. Of course, we can have multiple if else statements. So here we can type if speed is greater than or equal to max speed. And I'm going to type it like this. If speed is greater than max speed, then type the speed is greater than max speed. Else if, and again here we can type another condition, if speed is less than max speed, then we are going to execute the code that is right here. What we can also do, we can test multiple times. So here, instead of if speed is less than, I can type if speed is equal to the max speed, else if, and here we can type speed is less than max speed, and now here we have three if else statements. What this means, we are first going to test this one right here. If speed is greater than max speed, then execute this code. If that is not true, then we are going to test else if speed is equal to the max speed, execute the code that we put here. Else if the speed is less than max speed, then execute the code that is right here. So here I'm going to type the speed is not greater than, and here I'm going to type the speed is equal to, so equal, equal to max speed. And I'm going to separate these so that we can see them clearly just by typing enter like this so that they are not put together. So if our speed is greater than max speed, it will be printed the speed is greater than max speed. Else if our speed is equal to max speed, then we are going to type the speed is equal to max speed. And else if speed is less than max speed, the speed is not greater than max speed. Let me go here in our Unity, clear the console, and I'm going to hit run. We are going to see the speed is not greater than max speed, meaning that this one right here executed because our speed is two and max speed is three. If I set the speed to be equal to three and go back and now run the game, we are going to see the speed is equal to max speed. That means that this one right here executed because the speed is equal to three and our max speed is also equal to three. If I set the speed to be equal to four, then this one right here will execute. And if I go back and run the game, we see that the speed is greater than max speed. This is because our speed is four and our max speed is three. So we can use these multiple if else statements, if else, if else, so on and so forth. We can also add one at the end and we can type here else, meaning that if neither of these is true, then execute the code that is right here. And this is how we can control the workflow of our game or any program that we want to create. Again, repeating here, it will check the first condition. If speed is greater than max speed, if that's true, then print out or execute the code that is right here. If that is not true, then else if the speed is equal to max speed, then execute the code that is here. If that is also not true, else if the speed is less than max speed, then execute the code that is right here. In the case that this right here is not true, then execute whatever is in the else statement. And anything that we put here, if all of these cases or everything here in these if else statements is not true, then it will execute 
whatever we put in this else statement. We can also have nested if else statements, meaning that we can type here if speed is greater than the max speed, and we can also check here if speed is greater than four, for example. And then we can proceed to execute what we want here, or we can type else if, so on and so forth. But I would not nest more than three if else statements. So inside of this one, I will add maximum two or three, depending on the situation, but don't nest more than five, four or five, don't nest that. But there will be some situations maybe where you need to do that or you need to write your own little logic in order to skip that, but don't nest too much if else statements. So the general rule, don't nest too much if else statements. And what we also have as a conditional statement, like this if else statement, we have a switch and case. So let me just remove all of these, or I can comment them out. I can select all of these, hold command and press this backspace and it will comment all of these out. And on Windows, I assume that's control and this backspace and it will comment all of these lines of code out. As I already mentioned, we have a switch in case, which is similar to our if else statement, but it works for a single variable. So here we type switch, open close parentheses, open close curly brackets. In these parentheses, we can pass, for example, our speed. And now what we need to do is we need to write cases in our switch. So here we can type case and because of our speed is an integer variable. So we can type here case one and then these colon and then break. This right here means that Case one is one. If speed, this variable is equal to one, we will execute the code. So execute the code, the code that is written here. And we can simply copy this and I can paste here, here and here. Case two, case three and case four. And this break right here, so break, means that we are going to break out of this switch when we execute the code. So let me just demonstrate this. So here I'm going to type debug.log and here I'm going to type the speed is one. I'm going to copy this line of code and paste it here. The speed is two and I'm going to copy it and paste it here. The speed is three, copy and paste it here. The speed is equal to four. So in fact, these cases right here are actually testing the value that we provide here or the value of the variable that we provide here. This means switch, test this speed variable. So this one right here. Case one means if the speed is equal to one, then execute what's here. If the speed is equal to two, execute what's here. If speed is equal to three, execute what's here and so on and so forth. When we execute the code, break out of the switch and case statement. The speed at the moment is equal to four. If I go back here, I'm going to clear the console and I'm going to run the game. It says the speed is four. That means that this case right here executed. If I change the speed to two, for example, and go back here, run the game now, we are going to see the speed is two. So all of those others cases or all of the other cases did not execute one, three and four did not execute because the speed is equal to two. Notice now what happens if I said the speed is equal to five, because here we have one, two, three, four, we don't have five. If I go back, run the game, we don't see anything printed in the console. That is because we did not write a case for number five. What we can do is we can type here default. So we can type default and here also break. And here we can type debug.log and we can type the default has been executed. This means if neither of these cases, so one, two, three, and four are not executed, then execute what's here in the default. 
we see that the speed is equal to 5 and we tested that a moment ago and nothing was executed so we did not see any of these printed in the console. Notice now when I go back and when I run the game we are going to see the default has been executed. That means that this one right here has been executed because we have entered the switch and case with the speed variable and we are testing if speed is equal to 1 not true so don't execute this it's not equal to 2 or 3 or 4 so don't execute any of these move to the default and execute what's here in the default the default can act like an else statement so in this case in this case writing here else like this would be the same as default so here we are testing if case 1 meaning if speed is equal to 1 so we can do that here. So we can test if speed is equal to 1, then execute what's here. If speed is equal to 2, execute what's here. If speed is equal to 3, then execute what's here. And else, meaning default, if speed is neither of these, then execute what is here. To demonstrate that, I'm simply going to type here. So. Here I'm going to remove this and I'm going to type else was executed and we are going to see the default has been executed and here we are going to see else was executed. If I go back, clear the console and run the game now we see the default has been executed and else was executed. Why is that? Well because our speed is equal to 5. Again we have entered the switch in case with the speed variable which is not 1, it's not 2, 3 or 4, execute the default and break out of our switching case. Now we are going in our if-else statements. If speed is equal to 1, which is not true, else if it's speed equal to 2, again not true. If it's equal to 3, not true, then else execute what is here and else is like a default right here in our switching case meaning if neither of these above are not true then execute whatever it's here in short this was about conditional statements again and i repeat this in every video don't panic if everything is not crystal clear if else statements are one of the main components in every program especially in game development so we will encounter switch cases and if else statements a lot in our game development and it will be more and more clear with practical examples when we use that in our game so don't worry but in general when we want to test like this if speed is greater than or equal to or less than and we also saw these comparison operators that we can use to compare two variables as I said if speed is greater than 2 or less than 2 or equal to 2 then we can execute if that is true else if that's not true we will execute something else else if so on and so forth we saw all of these examples how it actually works for the if and for the switch in case statements.